Hi there, Dave here with our third video about our Lexan Top Tiny Teardrop Trailer. So this is going to be about the design and build. Well, the idea came after a three-day tramp in New Zealand where we stayed in a uh, stargazer hut. It was nice clear plastic uh, over most of your body and got to watch the Southern Cross all night. So from that idea to this. Now, I did design it. And so, yeah, clear top, lightweight. We come from a tenting background, so I didn't want anything heavy. Single wall construction because it was going to have a clear top. The eighth inch Lexan on the top, so no point in having double wall construction. And all we need to do is take care of the uh, tape. There's no heat problem. Um, we keep a tent warm with two bodies in it. Uh, much less a uh, plywood box. So it's not a heat issue, it's just the moisture. And so we use rayon tape to absorb the moisture. And then down below here, you can see the sizes. Uh, this is the real size of everything. And this is the only design I did. I did make these three pictures. And then when I went to build it, I actually made this curve just so that it looked like that curve. And I did it with a piece of 10-foot CPVC pipe. Real flexible stuff. And I just made it look like that. So, let's see. Where do we go from there? Well, I come by my design stuff honestly because 50 years ago, my dad designed the Blizzard Special. So... Thought I'd give a shout out to my dad, which I don't do all that often. Thanks, Dad. There's the plywood box. So I just started by building the plywood box, three quarter bottom and front and the back. There's a box back in here that makes the back rigid, and that's what I mean by the back being three quarters. There's a piece here, and there's a piece here that comes all the way to here. Yeah, we'll see it. Anyway, glued and stapled, standard construction. So there's some more plywood box pictures here. I think the one that I want you to see is that I, on the edges here, I put eighth inch plywood, give the uh, glass more purchase. And then when I went to put the... Uh, the angle irons down, I just put, you can see the gap here, I put the eighth inch uh, aluminum on top of here and on the side. So that's where that went. And then the Lexan went on top of that after putting down some double-sided tape. But we'll talk about that later. Here's that box in the back that gives the back the stiffness that I was talking about. That's all three-quarter. And uh, we're s sitting in the door looking at the back here. Here's that back from a different perspective. Lots of rigidity there, and then the three quarters in the front. And let's see. Before I did anything else, I, I, uh, I asked my lovely wife, Miki, if she would finish it for me. She said, yeah. So she put on a coat of amber shellac, two coats of varathane, and then put some uh, rubberized stuff on the bottom. So that all got done next. Then I added the trailer. Well, the trailer was, uh, like everything, came from eBay. It's a really nice lightweight trailer. Here it is on the ground, and here's where it's mostly put together, and here's where it's been wetted to the box. So I hold it on the trailer with the stake sides and four bolts on the inside. That's it. So the stakes were meant to hold everything into place anyway. So I used the stakes, the stake uh, pockets here. And they're around. And I used bolts by the door. And I also hold it the front down to this black box. It's all one unit, although it's got a rubber separator between them. So after we added the trailer, I added the doors. So the first door I added was the back door. And this becomes our table. And then I added the two side doors. 
and this is just a one inch aluminum hinge it's not hurricane anything it works just fine um, it's a standard hinge a one inch aluminum hinge and uh, the door you can see on the inside I put aluminum a, a rectangle of aluminum down around the window to stiffen the door because the door is just cut out when I I just cut out the plywood then that became the door so I had to stiffen it so I used the uh, aluminum to stiffen the door and you can see also the there's aluminum on the side of the supports on the door there's aluminum angle iron everywhere to stiffen it but before I put on all the aluminum I added the electronics which are right in the front this is all the electronics there is there's a lithium-ion battery with a cord that goes behind this top purlin here goes over to some space that is behind this box and the wire goes down to here it supplies this switch with then which then feeds this exhaust fan and also feeds power on to these two lights which then have their own switches and the lights have usb plugs underneath them so this lithium ion battery's got a very powerful flashlight in the front and puts out all the juice we need now we haven't had the exhaust fan running all night so i don't know what would happen under those circumstances too noisy but uh everything that we've needed it's been fine so we have no ac and uh none of that hassle all we do is we pull the plug here take this into the vehicle and uh, charge it during the day so after i get that done then i went ahead and added the uh, aluminum angle iron so i added aluminum everywhere you can see i added on the side here it's underneath this uh horizontal support here it's on the sides here it's on the corners here it's along the top it's along the bottom it's right here you see that little piece there it goes it's everywhere and so i just showed a typical typical way i did it was just to if this is the three quarter at the front that would be the, if it was uh, this corner the three quarter and the half inch just put the angle iron that line shouldn't be there it's just angle iron and then screwed deep into here screwed deep into here and glued it on all good the next thing to go ahead and add the top so the top got added just about the very last thing didn't want to be poking holes or doing anything now the way that that's held down and you can see here it's not held down this is before we held it down we just kind of placed it there and made sure everything was going to fit and it did it was tricky getting the measurement actually i had to measure it using that cpvc pipe also because it has to measure on a curve and you have to make sure it's exactly 96 inches which is what our Lexan was so I used uh, double-sided tape there's double-sided tape on the top and the bottom this is the Lexan here is the cross section of a purlin so that's a cross section of a purlin there's a purlin there's a purlin there's purlins everywhere so there's the cross section so there's that there is the aluminum that comes down on top of the purlin to support the purlin then the double-sided tape the lexan double-sided tape and then an aluminum piece that's a, uh, the aluminum piece there that goes across the top so after i double stuck the lexan down to the top i then put on a black trim piece on both edges and held that trim piece down by putting this top aluminum piece in and screwing it through the Lexan into the purlins. Now I'm actually convinced, I did some testing, I'm convinced that 
that our double-sided tape would not have let go of this and I could have rolled down the road just like this without doing any of this top stuff. But I would have felt terrible if the Lexan top had come off, so I wasn't really willing to uh, risk that. But it, that double-sided tape is awfully strong. It's a 3M one-inch wide double-sided tape. It's expensive, but very, very good. Leak proof. So, the last thing we had to do to make the trailer really usable was to add an external canopy. We got no space except to sleep. So, this, this took some thought to make sure that we had a good place to cook. So, there's our table. There's a stove there, and you've seen in the other videos the table. That's where we cook. And here is the trailer. So, what I did was I drew how the tarp configuration works. Here's a ridge pole. There's the other ridge pole. There's the trailer. There's... You see that little star, that little purple star? That purple star is the same as this purple star. So the stargazer goes here. This is tent is 10 by 10. It's got a grommet every 5 feet all the way around. I made it so that the stargazer would hold up these two pieces. Therefore, we could put the ridge here. And this would just go down to the ground, giving us space to sit and put stuff. And this also goes down to the ground. That's there. It could, of course, be held up by a third pole. All kinds of other configurations. This, what I'm trying to show you, is exactly what we have here. All right, that's it. Hope this helped anybody who uh, is thinking about doing this. I had a great time building it took me a couple months. It was great fun. Hugs and stay safe.